yeah, we had some some exciting things happen. Uh, we had also a, a not so exciting thing happen with uh, Martha having to sit one round out uh, due to an injury. But um, yeah, she came back with that 68 the last day, so obviously she was fine in the end. Um, so yeah, it was very exciting, really excited for Julia. She worked so hard this summer, played a lot of really big events, a lot of heavy competition for her. Um, and so she was very confident and will should be even more confident now after those three rounds under par. Coach, a third place team finish. You picked up a bunch of head-to-head -head victories over some in-conference opponents and really just played good, consistent golf throughout the weekend. Was that the start from a finish standpoint, not just the record, but a finish standpoint that you were looking for as well? Yes. Um, you know, we look for two different things in golf tournaments. How low can your low be and how low can your high be? Mm -hmm. um, we still need to work a little bit on that, the high score being a little bit too high. Um, if we can get that down, uh, you know, each round, that will get us even, you know, to the top of the leaderboard, I think, if we get that done. Because we do have girls with the potential to go very low um, with five under par rounds um, from three different players. Um, so we kind of took care of that. We just got to get the higher scores a little bit lower. Well, Coach, you have a quick turnaround to get ready to do just that here this weekend. But another golf tournament and golf course that you're familiar with at the DBU Classic at the Wild Horse Golf Club over in Denton, Texas. Talk a little bit about that course, the field that you expect, and anything changing with your team going into next week. Um, the always, uh, DBU always has a good field there. It's a great golf course. It's always in great shape. I think the greens will be very similar to what we just putted on, so that'll be good. Won't be a big uh, transition on the greens. Um, may or may not have a little shakeup in the lineup. We'll, we'll have to, we're going to have some opportunities for a couple other girls to get in the lineup. We'll be doing a little qualifying this week. Um, but on the front end, we'll have a lot of the same girls playing. Coach, you talked about last week, you know, the senior leadership, the the older upperclassmen leadership. You know, you, that was on full display this weekend. You know, Julia obviously played fantastic, you know, kind of led the way. Then Ema, you know, coming in there as the four or five bag. And Caitlin Charles as well, you know, kind of not letting those rounds get away from them and kind of keeping it, you know, bringing it about. Like Ema bounces right back on Saturday after that 78, the second round, 71 right there. You know, talk about that. You know, what you saw from those upperclassmen right there, you know, first tournament of the season. Yes. Yeah, there was no panic when somebody played around that they weren't satisfied with. They, you know, they didn't really get down on themselves. They knew uh, that they could come back and play better the next day. And, um, and Caitlin got off to a great start. She was confident that she had finished second there the year before. Um, so even when she kind of ran into a little bit of trouble, she kind of hung in there and kept it going. Um, so, I mean, we counted scores from every player. Um, no one, no one really had a bad tournament. Everyone played pretty solidly, um, you know. And, and like we mentioned going in, Julia had success here a couple of years ago. Uh, different golf course, but same town. So um, we're liking Amarillo and plan to keep going back and hopefully having the same success though next week uh, and play the same way that we did this last week. Coach, what a start for your program! Congratulations. Looking forward to the next event Monday and Tuesday at the DBU Classic. Best of luck. Thank you.